Hello guys, good afternoon again this is Dong. Uh, how are you triathletes? Now, for today's uh, vlog, we will now uh, install a um, holder for your nutrition on top of your bike. Uh, like Just like this one. No? Now, Although, my tri bike here has no uh, pocket for that is placed on top of the top tube uh, for the uh, for where you can place your uh, nutrition such as your goo or in, any, any uh, nutrition uh, uh, just like this one. Um, so although you can buy in some um, uh, bike stores the uh, pocket that uh, or the bag that uh, has velcro underneath and somewhere in the front so that you can have it uh, placed here the velcro and right here however in, in my case I don't really like the the, uh, the appeal or rather the appearance of uh, using that bag with that velcro so I, I, I'd like to have my bike a bit of a more of a racing approach rather than more of a uh, touring uh, style bike. Now, um, some frames, particularly those uh, recently designed frames, have some provisions. Uh, somewhere here, at least two, two uh, screws wherein you can place uh, the um, packet that is made out of uh, plastic. One uh, I bought at Bikesila. It's it's more it's very convenient. So I want to have this placed here, but there is no provision. For the screw where I can place it here uh, securely so I need to devise a way for me to have it installed um, and and will not throw in uh, the appearance of the bike now all you have to do is uh, first and foremost you have to buy your uh, this uh, double uh, adhesive uh, velcro um, at the nearest uh, DIY store and of course you need to have your uh, scissor for you to have this uh, cut uh, in, uh, with this shape and you need to have your of course your alcohol so that you can clean the surface of the top tube and also this one so that you can remove the necessary dirt and some oil coming from your hand while you're uh, touching your uh, tri bike and of course this rug for you to wipe out uh, the top tube and of course this one okay now we will now proceed with our uh, installation of course, uh, apply the alcohol in the top tube and wipe it for it to be uh, clean and uh, and the velcro will uh, stick uh, properly and after which apply some uh, alcohol also on the bottom of this uh, plastic for you to remove some uh, dirt and of course you have to leave this for a minute so that the alcohol will get dry okay this, as you can see this plastic uh, there is a provision for the cables actually two cables for your shifting front and rear derailleur and the other one is for your brake um, for you to install this one accordingly you have to remove all of these three cables however removing these cables will take some time so I devise a way for it to to have this installed uh, properly so I just cut the the middle portion somewhere here so that uh, the the cables will uh, just slide in and for an easy fit next in our list is for us to remove the velcro in the in this uh, box okay. Remove the, of course, the scotch. This will have to fit uh, under this uh, under this uh, plastic and on top of the top tube. So you have to cut this uh, in half like this. Okay. And of course, you have to separate these two Velcros from each other, just like that. And also the other one that uh, we uh, cut into half. That. This uh, this one has those uh, tiny hooks that are embedded uh, on, on top of the Velcro. And the other one, this is the Velcro wherein there's a some sort of a felt. Basically, this this uh, um, felt type will be on top of the top tube, and the other one the velcro with the tiny hooks will be underneath this. Our uh, alcohol has already dried up so we'll have to 
remove the uh, protective uh, paper underneath this velcro just stick it here stick it here be sure to have it measured accordingly up to that direction okay and the other one also remove the uh, protective uh, paper underneath the velcro just like that and place the other the other one here just like that okay now it's ready there be sure to uh, secure it accordingly you have to do that okay now there is this uh, excess uh, portion we have to remove this one also this one so that it won't interfere with the um, cables as soon as it is installed this velcro with a felt uh, surface will have to be placed on top of the top tube however you don't have to place it here first because you cannot uh, cut it according to the size of this plastic so all we have to do is to have this uh, placed here on top of uh, this uh, already what we have installed velcro just like that and the other one for this one okay be sure to secure it accordingly by using the uh, your, your scissor okay so since you have now the shape or you have now have it installed underneath your uh, plastic uh, case or holder you have to remove the unnecessary uh, the excess somewhere there and also this one Okay. Uh, since the uh, shape of uh, this uh, um, plastic is a bit tapered, so all we have to do is to cut this to get the, the proper size. Okay, on the other side. Okay, be sure to remove the excess velcro uh, so that uh, once it is uh, on top of your top tube, it will look tidy as possible. You don't want to ruin the, your bike. Uh, you want to keep your bike as uh, looking cool and uh, handsome as possible. Once the um, velcro now is cut according to the size of this uh, holder, all you have to do is to fit this on top of your top tube and slide in, of course, these three cables, just like that. Okay, and then you have to measure everything according to its alignment so that this holder will fit uh, tightly and snug on top of your top tube. Now, once you have already measured everything and you have determined now the location, uh, where it will be placed now once everything is uh, measured well of course it's very easy for you to remove the protective uh, paper underneath the uh, velcro that and of course the other one there you go now be sure to not to touch this uh, portion because uh, that will uh, ruin everything so all you have to do again is to slide in of course your cables on top and then make the necessary measurement again don't don't rush everything just stay cool and okay there you go you have now the uh, placed or uh, installed the uh, holder for your nutrition so you can now easily place your nutrition during the race or even during your training just like that and also some other tools if you there is a need for you to install one okay
Guys, thank you very much for watching uh, about the installation of the uh, holder for your nutrition uh, on your tri bike. And again, um, don't forget to subscribe and see you again, guys, for the next vlog. Bye.